Hello, my little learners. I hope you are having a great day. So this week in UOI, we're going to be talking about identity. So identity is understanding who we are and what kind of person we, we are. So for example, like I said, identity is who we are and what makes us unique individuals. Individuals mean people or a person. So what makes us unique and special? Now, these include, for example, our personal characteristics, um, how we probably look or how we, for example, like how we dress and what we do things or our qualities or experience. Now, this also, identity also means of how we see us or how we see ourselves to the world and how we interact with the world around us. So, for example, our personal characteristics means, for example, like our physical features, like our hair color. For ex- like, we some of us have brown hair, some of us have black hair, some of us have blonde, and there's some people who actually color their hair pink, which is cool. We also have, for example, eye color or skin color or height. For example, some of us have maybe like a really big brown eyes. Maybe some of us have small black eyes, green eyes. Some of us are white, tan, all of that. Now, this makes us special and unique. And also our personalities. For example, we are kind and create, creative. You could also be brave and strong. I don't mean physically like muscles strong, but like brave and strong personality that makes us this individual or us as special. So this could be our identity. So let's play a little game. For example, would you rather? Would you rather have ice cream or pizza for dessert? Maybe some of us would say ice cream. I would say pizza because I love pizza. So as that. So our identities, we can have very similar identities or we can have very different. So for another one is, would you rather go to the beach or to the mountains, go hiking and see nature and grass and trees and all that and different animals? Would you rather read a book or play a video game? I know a lot of you would say a video game, but you should read a book, man. It's it's a lot of fun. So with these, we have similar similarities and differences among each other. So like I said, some of us could all love maybe, maybe pepperoni pizza, or some of us would like chocolate ice cream. So we could also have similar hobbies and interests and some favorite movies and food and anything like that. That would be our similarities. Now, our differences is could be like where are we from and our different backgrounds and cultures. Are you from Jordan? Are you from Palestine? Are you from Sweden? Or are you from Australia, America, Brazil, like any of that? Also, our cultures and experiences is different as well, but that makes us unique individuals. For example, in the family and cultural background, For example, our culture and family background plays a big, big role of who we are, our identity. So, for example, for Muslims, how we celebrate Eid and Ramadan, that makes us who we are. For Christians, how they celebrate Easter and Christmas, that makes a, that's a big deal or that's a big part of their identity, which is great. We also look at the world differently, but at the same time, very similar to each other. So, for example, did you know in Japan when they want to greet someone, like when we say, for example, in Arabic, we say salam alaikum. Uh, for in Japan, they greet someone by bowing down to each other. That's how they say hi and show respect to each other. Uh, in India, there's a really beautiful festival there where they throw color, powdered color to each other to celebrate the arrival of spring. That spring is coming, so they throw powdered color like colorful powders to each other and throw it in the air and they celebrate dancing and singing just to celebrate that spring is coming. I would love to do that. That would be fun. Also in Mexico, how they celebrate the ones that they lost, their loved ones, and remember the ones that they lost is called a holiday called the Day of the Dead. This is how they honor and remember them. So each country, each culture has a different way to celebrate, which is very interesting and exciting. Also, another one is our personal interests and talents. So what makes us 
uh, our identity as well is what we enjoy, our hobbies. Like I know a lot of boys, a lot of them love to play football and are very great at it. Are very, they play very well and that becomes your identity. There's some people who love to paint and dance and sing. These are all ways that you can express your identity, your yourself, discover and show what you're passionate about, which is really cool, man. I saw some of you play soccer and y'all are very, very good at it. The next Ronaldo. At the same time, even if we have differences, we do have to respect each other and respect where we come from different backgrounds. So this is, for example, called diversity is when you come from different cultures and backgrounds and from different places, we have to appreciate and respect different values and beliefs and others we can't just ignore it and say no they're wrong no we have to respect it at the same time this is when we learn from each other and see how different cultures do in a different way and this is what how we become open-minded and we are we come together work together and to create a better and safer world for each other so i want to end this video for you and i want you to think about this how can you appreciate and respect diversity in others? How would you show, for example, um, or how would you appreciate and respect diversity? For example, if you people in Brazil, how would you show them that you respect them? Or what can you say or what can you do to appreciate their culture? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we cannot wait to go into more details about this this week. Have a great day, guys.